Hey guys, I'm Dubai Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple surprised us all pretty much releasing yet another software update for the iPhone, the iPad, and the Apple Watch for new iPhones and iPads, as well as older iPhones and iPads as well. So across the board, a new and older devices received, I guess what we can call an emergency software update. And of course, in this video, we're gonna go over all the details of the latest iOS 14.4 .2. Now, this one comes right on the heels of iOS 14.4.1, and it seems like every week we get a new software update, and this one uh, came in about two and a half weeks to three weeks after 14.4.1. We see 14.4.2. Now, again, this one is available for iPads as well, and for the Apple Watch, Watch OS 7.3. Point three is now available as well. Now, why would Apple released a new software update here Friday? It was released yesterday, Friday the 26th. Of course, I'm filming this video of the very next day. I was doing some research and trying to figure out what's going on. Why do we get so many software updates, minor software updates, but yet very, very important? And it is recommended for all users on iOS 14.4 or 14.4.1 to update to the latest 14.4.2 on iPhone and or iPads. Now, this one contains a very important security patch, and I'm going to discuss some of the latest details as into why you really need to update. Here is the latest software, and the build number for this one is going to be 18D70. So that's going to be the latest build number for the latest iOS update. Now, it looks like Apple continues to release software updates in terms of security patches. Apple could be working on a way to actually update your iPhone's security without having to release an entirely new version of iOS. We've seen a glance of this with iOS 14.5 beta 4. So hopefully Apple will do this. That way we don't have to necessarily update all our iPhones to the latest OS just because the security patch needs to be put in place. And again, we'll discuss the latest details of this latest security patch. And for older iPhones and iPads not capable of running iOS 13 or 14, iOS 12.5.2 has now been released as well. So again, Apple continues to support older devices. They're not leaving these older devices behind. They know a lot of customers do use these iPhones for different purposes, and they continue to patch the software if there's any security flaws that need to be patched. And this one, let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the security uh, release notes about security content of iOS 14.4.2 and iPadOS 14.4.2. Now, Apple doesn't go into great details us into what was the major issue or what could cause it. But in this case, they talk about a WebKit. Now, the impact within this one, you can see their processing malicious crafted web content may lead to universal cross-site scripting. And Apple is aware of a report that this issue might have been actively exploited, actively exploited. So keep in mind, some customers were exploited, some customer security was put at risk. And with this security vulnerability within iOS, so Apple needed to release this software update. So that's why they released it on a Friday, which is not usual for Apple to do. This was sort of an emergency update and all iPhones and iPads, old and new, have received this latest update. And if you want to keep your iPhone, of course, with the latest security patches, then of course it is recommended recommended for you to update your device. Right now, if you haven't updated just yet, you can just head on over to settings, general software updates, and you'll see the latest software populate on your device. I do recommend everyone updating to patch your device as soon as possible with the latest iOS 14.4.2 and iOS 12.5.2 as well. So Apple, again, as I mentioned, could be working on a way to update your iPhone security without having to update the OS. We've seen a glance of that already. Hopefully this will come in the near future. But as of right now, don't expect any major changes with this software, only a security patch, nothing in terms of UI or features, just security patch. I just wanted to update you guys on this new uh, software update available for iPhones and iPads. Thank you for watching this quick one, guys. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.